Hello everyone, welcome back to my video channel. In this video, I will be explaining the some of the ecological terms which have been repeatedly asked uh, in the KSET examination. So, uh, without making any delay, let's start this video and watch this video uh, at the, uh, at the till the end uh, because uh, at the end I will tell uh, I will. Uh, tell the list of the terms which have repeatedly asked in the examination so that you can have a more focus on those uh, terms okay now uh, let us start one by one the uh, the here is uh, the first one here in this is biomagnification so let us know what is biomagnification here so uh, the definition for the biomagnification is here like this increase in concentration of so toxic substances in the food chain or across trophic level is called biomagnification. It is the increase in the concentration of toxic substances in the food chain or across trophic levels is called as biomagnification. I hope you know what, what are uh, trophic levels or food chain. So in the lower classes they have been um, explained right, they have explained the food chains. So these are the trophic uh, levels. Uh, first uh, they uh, uh, producers, then consumers, then primary consumers, then tertiary consumers like this, then to uh, top consumers. So this is the trophic level. Here what they are saying, the increase in the concentration of the toxic substances, you have to remember. If there is an increase in the uh, uh, toxic substances uh, um, in the food chain or across the trophic level, that is called as biomagnification, it is called as biomagnification. And it is caused by non-biodegradable substances, especially pesticides and insecticides. For example, you can give an example of uh, uh, DDT, uh, you can take the example of uh, DDT and uh, PCB. What is DDT? DDT is dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane and PCB is poly poly polychlorinated biphenyl. So if these toxic substances finally accumulate at top consumers if these uh, DDT or PCB accumulated at the top consumers or tertiary consumers or you can say carnivores or omnivores. So what happens in that case? So these chemicals will be accumulated in the top consumers. So when an organism in the higher food, uh, higher food chain consumes the lower organisms containing such chemicals, the chemicals can get accumulated in the higher organisms, right? So how this biomagnification is going to happen? How this toxic content is accumulated in the top consumers means because uh, when toxic chemicals like DDT, PCB, which remain in the environment are consumed indirectly by organisms through food, when an organisms in the higher food chain consumes the lower organisms containing such chemicals like DDT or PCB, the chemicals can get accumulated in the higher organisms. So these toxic sub substances finally accumulated at the top consumers or tertiary consumers or carnivores. Okay, uh, this is the thing which is going to occur. Uh, that is actually called as biomagnification. Let us uh, move on to the, the next term that is bioaccumulation. Let us know what is bioaccumulation. Bioaccumulation means increase in the concentration of a toxic substances in individual tissues due to uptake from environment. Here biomagnification bio means accumulation of toxic substances, accumulation of toxic substances or in the food chain or across the trophic levels okay but here bio accumulation they are saying here increase in the concentration of the toxic substances okay yeah, where in the individual in the individual tissues okay in the individual tissues due to uptake from the environment or you can say you can de uh, define biochemical uh, accumulation as chemical storage of substances at a higher levels in an organism is called as bioaccumulation. Here across the food chain or trophic levels that is biomagnification uh, across the um, uh, with uh, in the individual tissues is bioaccumulation. Let us move on to the next one more term that is bioconcentration. What is bioconcentration? Uh, here is the definition. Uh, Bioaccumulation that occurs in aquatic habitats. Okay, bioaccumulation. Here we know what is bioaccumulation. This, if this bioaccumulation means accumulation of toxic substances in the individual tissues in the aquatic habitat, in the aquatic habitat. 
okay in the aquatic habitat is called as bio concentration okay how it is going to occur it occurs when uptake of substances from water he is greater than its release into a water so and this bio concentration and bio accumulation occurs in a single trophic level okay remember these are the important points bio accumulation and bio concentration occurs in a single trophic level where bio magnification is going to occur across a trophic levels okay and for example if you have to give example for this uh, i will i would like to give a one best example which is uh, um, very important that is uh, bio uh, accumulation uh, bio concentration of ddt in lakes affected the pelicans and oysters you you know pelicans and oysters right i have displayed the picture of the pelicans and oyster at the end of this video if you don't know you can uh, have a look at those uh, diagrams um, here what happens uh, the pelicans uh, they are almost disappeared because they were poisoned by the pesticide ddt which caused them to lay thin shelled eggs okay which broken during incubation because they were not able to produce egg one the number of pelicans got decreased here what happens this ddt interfere with calcium deposition in egg shells of the pelicans so as a result of this the eggs broken down when the mother tries to incubate them okay so this decreases the pelicans population so when we found out when we try to find out the cause for this is uh, when we examine this when we have the verification this we found out that ddt was found to accumulate at high levels in eagles and vultures of the those are what are those eagles and vultures they are top consumers okay uh, that is the example that is the one scenario which has been happened okay the next one is bio remediation let us know what is bio remediation so you know the remedies right bio remedies means uh, to find out a solution for some uh, some causes or a problem bio means living we know that right so let us uh, know what is uh, bio remediation removal of pollutants or toxic substances from the environment by employing living organisms is called bio remediation okay so we know that um, toxic substances are got accumulated by these uh, uh, by bio magnification bio accumulation bio concentration right now what is the duty he, here is now we have to remove that toxic substances from the environment but by employing living organisms is called as bio remediation so you can remember this by a simple term uh, uh, by the uh, name of the um, term itself bio means living remediation means we know that to find out the solution so how we are finding the solution by employing a living organisms we have to remove the toxic substances from the environment or simple i will give a simple definition that is environmental clean up by organisms is called bio remediation it is as simple as that okay let us in this there are three type uh, uh, in this there are three types that is first one is microbial bio remediation second one is phyto remediation third one is uh, um, myco remediation microbial bio remediation means by using the microbes phyto remediation means by using the phyto means plants by using the plants then myco remediation means by using the fungi okay oh, these are the three types of bio remediation let us move on to the next one that is bio stimulation let us know what is stimulation i know you know uh, the meaning of stimulation right okay uh, let's go for the definition of the bio stimulation bio stimulation means stimulation of existing organisms to achieve or undertake bio remediation by addition of nutrients reducing agents and oxidizing agents that is called as bio stimulation okay let us move on to the next term that is bio augmentation let, what, let us know what is bio augmentation here bio augmentation means introducing natural or genetically engineered strains into an area to achieve bio remediation that is called as bio augmentation then let us move on to the next term that is phyto remediation or phyto extraction the one more name for the phyto remediation is phyto extraction uh, let us know what is phyto extraction here phyto extraction means uptake of uh, and concentration of substances from environment into harvestable plant biomass uh, i will repeat once again uptake of an uh, uptake of an concentration of substances from environment into harvestable plant biomass like if you uh, grow paddy or uh, some uh, plant you have to uh, 
uh, what you will do, you will do it as a harvestable form. Means we have to. Uh, um, uh, you have to do the harvestation, uh, harvestation for that so that you are going to take up the plant so you have to uh, you are indirectly removing the uh, toxic substances like that next let us move on to the next term that is phytostabilization phytostabilization means reducing the mobility of environmental substances by, by growing the plants means uh, it, um, it, it uh, what it means means uh, if you grow the uh, think if this uh, area is uh, contains toxic substances if you grow the plants there the root will absorb those uh, toxic substances which which stops the movement of those chemicals okay by that you are removing the toxic substances from the environment that, uh, that that's why it is called as phyto stabilization that is reducing the uh, reducing the mobility of environmental substances by growing plants let us move on to the next one that is phyto transformation what is phytotransformation? The conversion of environmental substances as a direct result of plant metabolism leading to its inactivation or degradation or immobilization that is called as phytotransformation. Means here your uh, um, conversion of environmental substances as a direct result of plant metabolism okay, leading to its inactivation, degradation or you can say phytodegradation that will reach to immobilization. The next one is phytostimulation. Phytostimulation means stimulating the microorganisms of the rhizosphere to undertake bioremediation by, by growing the plant is called as phytostimulation or you can say it as a rhizosphere degradation. We know that here, I think this is the root. So you can get the rhizosphere here. Okay, you can see the rhizosphere here. This rhizo here, rhizosphere. So what happens if you stimulating the microorganisms of these microorganisms of this rhizosphere to undertake bioremediation by growing the plants that is called as rhizosphere degradation or you can say it as phytostimulation. Let us move on to the one more term that is phytovolatilization. The definition for this is uptake of substances from a soil or uptake of substances from a water and releasing into an atmosphere in harmless or volatile form okay that is uh, called as phytovolatilization means you are taking the substances um, that is uh, toxic substances from the soil or from the water and you, you are going to release it in the uh, into atmosphere in the harmless form or you can say in the volatile form okay for example you can take an example of arsenic uh, selenium or mercury etc okay the next one, the last one is rhizofiltration. Let us know uh, the definition here. Employing a mass of roots to remove pollutants or contaminants uh, is called as rhizofiltration. For example, uh, this if you think this is uh, these are the pollutants, okay, or uh, toxic substances. If you apply the roots, if you apply the roots, okay, to uh, remove these pollutants to make it less pollutant, okay, to make it less pollutant okay that is called as rhizofiltration i will repeat once again employing a mass of roots to remove pollutants or contaminants is called rhizofiltration okay i hope you like this video and okay let, uh, uh, let us know which are the questions uh, have been uh, repeatedly asked in the examination uh, those are biomagnification they have been asked repeatedly and uh, uh, obviously they asked the um, this is the most repeated one okay and also these are um, these questions also repeated uh, more bioaccumulation, bioconcentration and bioremediation is also uh, repeated uh, in the examination. I hope you, uh, I hope this video is helpful for you all guys and uh, if you like this video please, um, please do share and subscribe and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, thank you everyone.